What's up YouTube? Hey, I just wanted to make a quick video on my top five tips for new players playing Escape from Tarkov. Uh, in my opinion, one of the greatest games ever made and certainly a, a game that I've been playing for uh, close to two years now and uh, will be playing for the long time as long as it's being supported. All right, well, let's start with um, number one. This would be top five tips. No real particular order, but um, I do have them labeled in order. Um, in an in, in order, I should say, but it's no real particular order. So number one, practice in offline mode. There's a really cool feature called offline mode. You can just go uh, to the menu and start a raid and select offline mode. Uh, what I recommend that you use this for is to learn the maps, learn all the routes and the choke points and the extractions, which is probably the most important thing knowing where you're going and where you have to go ultimately at the end because that's the whole point is to survive and extract so learn the maps run them all offline as as much as you can and just you know rinse and repeat over and over and over until you feel comfortable uh with them knowing where things are where those cho choke points could be um you know where the the best routes to get to certain areas that you want to go to could be and uh and certainly the extractions so definitely run some offline raids start with no no uh, no enemies and then work work the uh, the scabs in there this way you can have some interactions while you're practicing as well and then on the maps that uh, have the bosses certainly pop those guys in there when you feel uh, when you feel up to the challenge as well all right so number one practice offline number two play solo Run these these tasks and these quests in the beginning solo on your own, where you don't have to worry about communicating with teammates because that's a that's like a next level uh, scenario, right? You're communicating with your team and your teammates, making callouts. You you, you got to have some knowledge there. You got to have some map knowledge. You got to pretty much know what you're doing, what everybody's doing, where everybody's at. You know, if they make their callouts, you got to know what they're talking about because team killing in this game is um, is real. It's the real deal, and it happens a lot. Um, to, to all players, veteran, new, it, it happens a lot. And some people get really mad, other people don't care, but some people get mad and um, it can really ruin the experience. So play solo until you're pretty familiar with the game, until you're comfortable you know, with, with the maps and, and the game. Uh, just run it solo. It's a much better experience. Your adrenaline will be pumping. Uh, but the biggest thing for playing solo is you can kill everything without any worry about it being a teammate because you're running solo, right? So anything that you see is an enemy and you can take it out, all right? And, and it'll make you better uh, in the long run. It'll help you perform better. Number two was play solo. Number three, use the wiki, use your resources. Anything that you can find online, you know, YouTube, but, but the wiki is probably the biggest one. Uh, we talked about number one being, you know, practicing offline. Uh, with the wiki, you have, you have the maps, you have uh, map images that you can pull up that'll pretty much give you a detailed uh, list of things that are that are you know available as far as uh, location of of items and and spawns for scavs and players. Uh, so study the wiki, use the wiki, you know, use that to to help you get better. There's there's no doubt about it that that is a really good resource to have. Um, it's it's tremendous what those guys do over there to help us out as players. So you want to use anything that you can uh, to help get you some information. And the wiki is something that I have open all the time on a, on a second monitor or a second tab or whatever, even my iPad, my, my phone. It, it's up there somewhere at all times that I can quickly reference it. Very, very, very important. So that was number three, use the wiki. Number four is your audio. Audio to me is uh, just as important as video. Now, obviously you need a video to see, so that would probably be a little bit more important, but the, but the audio is, is, is huge. Uh, for me, it's how, uh, I can attribute almost any success that I have, whether it's against players or, or, or scabs, even, you know, bosses or things like that, but mainly against players is knowing which direction that they're coming from or going to, um, if they're above you, which can be a bit of an issue, but as you play, you know, you get a little bit more used to it and, and you'll fi you'll figure it out. Uh, learning, you know, what players are stepping on, whether it's metal or 
or gravel or broken glass, you know, understanding where they could be based on what they're stepping on, you know, hey, they're stepping on glass. So I know that they're over here in this area. Uh, I hear broken glass. I hear creep walking. You know, I hear running uh, from left to right, you know, and knowing that in that area, they can only be coming from a certain direction. So the audio is huge. You want to make sure that you have a good headset, hopefully. Um, that's obviously, the, the, you know, something that's very important or some sort of headset that, that you can hear pretty well. Uh, you know, people will say you can use AirPods and still hear. Okay, that, that's cool. Uh, I wouldn't, but... You know, if that's all you have, then at least make sure that you can hear everything, that you're not being interrupted by um, people on, you know, around you or or other sources. You know, don't play music, you know, while you're playing the game, you know, things like that. Just keep your 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 ears open for for everything because you'll get a lot of information uh, from your audio and it's going to be the best information that you can receive other than uh, video, obviously. So that's number four audio. Uh, number five is just have fun. You know, this is, this is a, it's a video game. Obviously it's, it's one of the best experiences that you will have. Uh, it's pure adrenaline. It's, it's going to give you all sorts of, of feelings, you know, from highs and lows, you're going to be, um, frustrated, you know, with cheating and hacking and, you know, uh, and then you'll be elated once you survive and you extract and you, and you kill PMCs and you, and you loot. You know, you're, you're going to experience the whole gamut there of, of, of feelings. But understand that it's a game and it's still in beta and they're working their butts off. You know, be, be um, Battle State, they do a great job with updating, you know, and it's I'm sure it's not easy for them, but um, they take a lot of our feedback and input and, and they do work on it. So understand that, you know, if you love this game, understand that, you know, they're working on it. They love the game too. And there's going to be some issues, but eventually that will get better you know it's gotten a lot better from the beginning i know but i've been playing about two years as i mentioned earlier uh, and i see some huge improvements and you know most of the guys that i play with have been playing for a lot longer than me and they talk about you know how different the game was back in the day and it's just like oh my god it's unbelievable you know the the differences so have fun with it as it is uh grow it's going to grow with us and get better uh, hopefully and uh, the cheating and all that other stuff the glitches that they're fr that are frustrating will eventually die out probably not altogether but you know maybe get better and um you know it'll it'll be uh we can deal with it and still have a great experience i still have a great experience with it i still have a lot of fun with it uh, i love it it's my main game i stream it on twitch I'll, I'll put that link in the description if anybody um certainly wants to, to drop in the channel and say what's up um, and you can subscribe to the YouTube channel for more content, which we'll be pumping out. Um, leave a comment. Um, certainly, you know, like the video if, if you think it, it offered anything um, to you. And I certainly appreciate that. We'll do a quick rundown again. Number one, practice offline. Learn the maps as best as you can. Number two, play solo. Get that experience on your own. It's going to help you out in the long run. Number three, use the wiki, use those resources that are available to us that are going to help us out tremendously. Use those. Uh, number four is your audio, which, you know, I, I don't have to say that uh, four is video audio, right? Because obviously without video, you can't see anything, right? But uh, we, we talked about the audio. It's very important. So hopefully you have some some really good, uh, you know, a really nice headset, which doesn't take much. You know, it, it can be a $40 headset. It could be a a hundred dollar headset whatever you know audio huge and number five just have fun have fun enjoy the game um play it grind it out and you'll get better with time there's no doubt about it mm, unless your name is spittles <laughs> all right guys uh again my name is white wolf i appreciate anybody that's watching um that, that got anything out of it you know appreciate you and you guys have a great day and we'll we'll see you soon all right peace out much love